Hello and welcome to the instructional video for the DeSuta Medical OrthoDrive Power Tool System. This family of large bone tools is primarily used for total hip replacements and total knee replacements. The DeSuta Medical OrthoDrive is a three handpiece system consisting of a modular drill handpiece, a dedicated sagittal saw handpiece, and a dedicated reciprocating saw handpiece. However, you can reduce the system to just two handpieces by removing your reciprocating saw and replacing it with a reciprocating saw attachment. Let's take a look at the modular MBQ drill handpiece. This handpiece comes in two options, the single trigger or the dual trigger. For the purpose of this video, we'll focus on the dual trigger. Here, you have two triggers. The bottom trigger runs the tool in a forward motion, whereas the top trigger runs the tool in the reverse motion. Now, if I draw your attention to this small silver button known as the mode selector, you will see it's currently in a central position. This is safe mode. This prevents me from depressing either of the triggers and is vital for operator safety. If I push the mode selector across on this side, the tool will run at 100% drill speed. Depressing both triggers on this side will run the tool in an oscillating fashion. Now if I show you the flip side of the tool, there's a small screw symbol. If you push the mode selector across on this side, you will get a low speed screwing function. This is not to be confused with reaming. This is mainly used for putting screws in on power. If I press both triggers on this side, I get a tapping function which makes the tool run two turns in the forward motion and one turn in the reverse motion. This is ideal for putting screws in to brittle bone. The MBQ handpiece contains a drill ream gearbox. This allows you to easily change between drill and ream mode. This can be done by twisting the collar on top of the tool between the D for drill and the R for ream. Inserting Q-series attachments into your MBQ handpiece couldn't be more simple. You simply take them and insert with a push and click. To remove the attachment, simply pull back on the collar here and slide straight out. Let's take a look at how to insert drill bits. If you take your AO quick couple attachment and place it into your tool, get an AO drill bit which is characterised as a half moon shape with a notch cut out, pull back on the collar on the attachment and slide the drill bit in until it sits into place. Release the collar to lock. You can now take the tool off safety and use the drill. To remove the drill bit, place the tool back into safe mode, pull back on the collar once again and slide the drill bit straight out. To remove the attachment, again, pull back on the collar and slide straight out. If we now take a look at your Jacob's chuck attachment, place it into the tool, and then this time, get a straight shank drill bit. This type of drill bit has no notches and is just a perfect cylinder. To lock this drill bit into place, simply slide it into the teeth of the Jacob's chuck and then take an appropriate chuck key, insert into one of the three holes and turn in a clockwise direction to tighten. Once tight, give it a little extra turn to hold it in place and then you're ready to go. Take the tool off safe mode and you can drill. Place the tool back into safe mode. To remove the drill bit, take your chuck key and this time turn in an anti-clockwise direction. You can then slide the drill bit straight out and remove the attachment like so. To attach a reaming handle to your MBQ handpiece, firstly place the tool into safe mode and turn the drill into reaming mode by twisting the collar from D to R. Then you can take an appropriate attachment such as this Hudson attachment and place it into your tool with a push and click. 
Then you want to take an appropriate reaming handle, such as this one, and to attach, simply pull back on the Hudson collar and slide the reaming handle into place. Release the collar to lock. You can now take the tool off safe mode and place it into high speed drilling mode. You then depress the trigger to run the reaming handle. To remove the reaming handle, simply pull back on the Hudson collar and slide it straight out. The MBQ handpiece has a number of orientation specific attachments, the most common being the wire driver and the reciprocating saw. Let's take a look at the wire driver and how to insert it. Firstly, take your wire driver and line up the prongs at the attachment site with the notches on the MBQ handpiece by turning it 45 degrees in the anti-clockwise direction before sliding it in. Once it's slid in, you can turn the attachment clockwise to lock into place. Now, here we have the WQ710 attachment. This is a fully adjustable wire driver that allows you to insert wires from 0.7 to 4 millimeters in diameter. You can do this by simply pushing in the nose of the tool and dialing in to the correct number. I'm going to be using a 1.8 millimeter K wire, so I will set it to the 1.8 millimeter position. You can then Take a K-wire, such as this one, and slide it in through the cannulation, like so. Once in place, you can turn the tool off safe mode and into drilling mode, pull back on the lever to lock the wire into place, and run the wire, like so. Once done with the wire, you can make adjustments by simply releasing the lever, which will allow the wire to move freely once again. Once completely finished and you're happy with your wire placement, you can slide the wire out of the tool, like so. To remove the attachment, place the tool back into safe mode, pull back on the collar and turn 45 degrees anti-clockwise before sliding straight out. If you've opted for a two handpiece system, you will have a CQ710 reciprocating saw attachment that fits into your MBQ handpiece. This attachment is orientation specific, which means you need to line up the prongs with the notches on the tool. To do this, simply take the attachment and turn it 45 degrees anti-clockwise before sliding in. You can then click it clockwise to lock. Once locked into place, you can take an S84 blade and twist the small collar on the nose of the tool and slide it in before releasing the collar to lock. It's worth mentioning that this should all be done in safe mode with the mode selector in the central position. You can then run the saw by pushing it into the high speed drilling mode and depressing the trigger. <laughs> Once done with the saw, place the tool back into safe mode and twist the collar on the nose to release the blade. Slide the blade straight out. To then release the attachment, pull back on the collar on the MBQ, turn 45 degrees anti-clockwise and slide out. If you've opted for a three handpiece system, you will have a DBC 700 reciprocating saw. This is compatible with our S84 blade range. Before inserting a blade, make sure the tool is in safe mode by making sure the mode selector is in the central position. To insert your S84 blade, simply twist the small collar at the front of the tool and slide the blade into place. Release the collar to lock the blade. With the blade in the lock position, I can push the mode selector to either side to run the tool. <laughs> Another nice feature of the DBC700 is that I can adjust the angle of the blade. Firstly, I'll place the tool back into safe mode. And now I can adjust the angle by simply pulling back on this collar here and twisting to the desired position. This makes the reciprocating saw highly versatile. To remove my S84 blade, I'll simply twist the small collar at the front of the tool and slide the blade straight out. Let's take a look at our DBK701 dedicated sagittal saw. 
This sagittal saw is compatible with our S89 blade range. Before we go on to attaching the blade, I'm just going to show you how to rotate the sagittal saw head. You can do this by simply pulling back on this collar and locking it into place by turning it anti-clockwise. You then have free rotation of the sagittal saw head. You can lock it at any position by simply releasing the collar back into place like so. Before loading a blade, make sure your tool is in safe mode. This is an S89 sagittal saw blade and it can be pushed into place with a simple push and click like so. I can then push the mode selector to either side to run the saw. To remove the blade, place the saw back into safe mode. You can then twist the lever on the bottom of the saw head to release the mount, which allows you to slide the S89 blade straight out.